Hello friends and welcome back to the channel where we delve into the mind of a hero. In this entry, we'll be taking a deeper look at Billy Costigan Jr., the undercover cop from the crime drama film, The Departed. Billy Costigan was a tragic character from start to end. It'd be tough to disagree with that statement. His life was riddled with much difficulty throughout, culminating with his task of infiltrating mob boss Frank Costello's gang as an informant for the Massachusetts State Police. That by itself was no easy task, but it was a task that was made much more tenuous due to Costello's own mole inside the police force. The resultant game of cat and mouse, as both spies try to outwit each other, highlights several aspects of Billy's character, which we'll delve into shortly. At the start of the film, Billy is shown to be completing his training to become a state trooper. However, Queenan and Dignam need an informant to infiltrate Costello's gang and they decide that Billy is the prime candidate for the task, largely due to his family background. With the exception of his father and one priest, all of Billy's family was deep into crime, with his uncle Jackie being a close associate of Costello. Billy's father, on the other hand, was simply a baggage handler at the airport, refusing to take part in any of his family's criminal activities. In fact, later on in the film, in this scene, Costello mentions that if Billy's father was so against his criminal ways that he would go so far as to kill him to prevent him from being an influence to Billy. Costello further elaborates that Billy's father didn't want money, and in his own words, you can't do anything with someone like that. Perhaps it is from his father that Billy derives his morality and his upright character, or perhaps it could be attributed to the middle-class upbringing he received from his mother most of the time, away from South Boston. But whatever it was, Billy deliberately going against the grain of his family and deciding to be a cop was him giving the figurative finger and a slap to the face to them. Herein lies his motivation. Of course, other than the tax-free salary bonus that Queenan mentioned. Given his family background, Queenan feels that he wouldn't last five years as a state trooper although that might have just been said as part of his persuasion for Billy to take up the undercover job. Dignam also highlights Billy's exceptional intelligence, scoring 1400s on the SATs and implies that being a state trooper is beneath his aptitude. A pivotal question is then asked by Queenan, one that defines both Billy and his counterpart Colin Sullivan, who is Costello's mole in the force. Queenan asks, do you want to be a cop? Or do you want to appear to be a cop? While undercover, Billy has none of the external tropes we would expect of a cop. However, it is he who does actual police work. Sullivan, on the other hand, appears to be a cop, but his sole purpose in the SIU was to perpetuate Costello's criminal enterprise, which involved sabotaging the police's efforts. Much of Billy's background isn't directly shown to us but delivered to us through exposition through Dignam's insulting interview. We learn that while Billy does not have a criminal record, his life before becoming a state trooper wasn't exactly spotless. He has a history of violent tendencies, told to us when he assaulted a gym teacher with a folding chair at Deerfield. When Queenan and Dignam need to give Billy a false criminal report to avoid suspicion, they decide that assault and battery makes the most sense given Billy's nature. Later on in the film, on different occasions, Billy is quick to use physical violence again, but that was more likely used as a means to attract Costello's attention. This aggressive nature might be a byproduct of Billy's dysfunctional family, as both of his parents were divorced at an early age. Since young, Billy has had to live double lives, living with his mother in the upper middle class on the weekdays, while staying with his father in South Boston on the weekends. Dignam hints at the possibility of Billy having to use two different accents depending on which parent he stays with, and that he was like two different people, to which Billy remained silent. So in a very real sense, Billy was already acquainted with the idea of putting up different identities, which makes him all the more suited for undercover work. On top of that, Billy's lack of family relationships is another attribute that makes him a prime candidate to be an informant. The people he loves have passed on, while those who remain, he doesn't count as family. But this proves to be a double-edged sword, 
as Billy lives a lonely and isolated existence and it takes a toll on his mental health. It also makes Costello somewhat suspicious of him as he mentions in this scene that you can't really trust someone who acts like they have nothing to lose. From what we can tell, Billy appears to be closer to his mother and is shown grieving over her at her funeral after she dies of a terminal illness. He reminisces over childhood photos with his mother to cope with times of stress. Given the nature of his job, Billy has to remain unattached as anyone in relationship to him would be at risk. Billy has only two people he can turn to, the first being Queenan, but their interactions are naturally limited. The second is Madeline, his psychiatrist, but obviously he has to keep her in the dark about his undercover activities. The result is a lot of repressed and bottled up feelings that Billy has to process on his own, oftentimes causing him to turn to prescriptive medication. While on the topic of relationships, it's possible to speculate that Billy got along well with Costello's crew, most notably with Delahunt. After Queenan's death, Delahunt realizes that Billy is the rat, but he chooses not to expose him. There is a deleted scene in which Delahunt explains that he kept quiet because he didn't want to kill anyone. But that doesn't hold much water, as he was just involved in Queenan's death, and it's probably why it was deleted. In my opinion, it's either he was somewhat attached to Billy that he couldn't bring himself to expose him, or he was experiencing some measure of deathbed repentance. Either way, we can only speculate. But I do not subscribe to the theory that Delahunt was an undercover cop. On top of his loneliness, Billy's key trait that sums up his time undercover is that of anxiety. The anxiety of having to live a double life. The anxiety of having to witness the heinous crimes that Costello and his gang are involved in. And the anxiety of living in fear that one day he would be found out by Costello and be promptly killed. Billy lives in an unpacked apartment with most of his items still in boxes. This is likely indicative of him not being able to settle down and having to always be ready to be on the run should he ever be in any danger. In fact, after confirming that Costello has a mole in the SIU, he is so shaken that his initial plan was to quickly fly to another country. Billy exhibits the classic signs of post-traumatic stress with panic attacks and insomnia among others. It is not revealed to us the exact duration that he was undercover, but in the scene under the bridge, Billy complains to his handlers that he has already been undercover for a year and Costello remains unarrested. In his psychiatric session with Madeline, Billy mentions that he is naturally an emotionally collected person, illustrated by his time at jail, where he was able to maintain his outward composure despite sitting beside a mass murderer. In his own words, his hand does not shake, although his heart rate was jacked. It is this trait that allows him to maintain his outward composure, even though on the inside he is freaking out as Costello escalates his search for the informant in his gang. And all the while, he becomes increasingly frustrated with the police being unable to apprehend Costello despite the countless felonies he has committed. With Billy being the new guy, and combined with the fact that he was a police trainee, Costello would naturally be most suspicious of him as the rat. Billy proves to be just as effective a liar as Sullivan, as he blatantly and convincingly tells Costello straight to the face that he's not the rat. This is another instance where he remains calm under pressure, in which his hand does not shake. Billy's quick thinking saves him more than once. In this restaurant scene, he manages to deflect Costello's suspicion by shifting it to his crew mentioning that they may be disgruntled by their low pay and the fact that Costello runs his business like a feudal enterprise. He also shrewdly passes Costello's disinformation test and actually becomes the one whom Costello ends up trusting the most. Eventually, after Costello's death, Billy's goal is to return to civilian life. His one fatal flaw, however, was displacing the citizen's envelope and not putting it back in its original place. If he had feigned ignorance with Colin, he might have been able to get justice in a different way. Billy's choice to meet Colin at the same address where Queenan died reflects a specific motivation to get payback for his death. On a final note, 
While Billy and Colin are direct opposites of each other in terms of the law, they share several similarities. They both share a surrogate father in the form of Costello, and they both share an intimate relationship with Madeline. It might be possible that Madeline is actually pregnant with Billy's child, considering that Sullivan is implied to have issues in the bedroom. This, combined with the fact that Madeline indirectly admits to lying to Colin in the scene where she says, I thought I was the liar, when she discovers he is Costello's mole. But just as with the Delahunt theory, we can only speculate. At the end, Billy Costigan was a tragic hero, one who availed himself as a tool of law enforcement, but without being able to reap the outward recognition. His death was particularly tragic, considering how close he was to getting free. And while he met his untimely demise, he did succeed in his overall objective, bringing both Costello and his mole to justice. So what do you think of Billy Costigan, folks? Let me know in the comments below, along with any other characters you'd like to see here. Thanks for watching, folks. If you like this video, subscribe to see more entries like these, and you can check out other characters covered here.